All right, we're taking a look to, for the horde, which I have to Where imagine is a zombie horde, right? No, what don't other, say that. What other kind of hordes are there? Shark horde? No. Uh, that's like a pool, isn't it? I don't know. Anyways, let's find out. <laughs> of all hoarding cases involve extremely haunted properties. Oh, Rockford, what? Ohio, March 19th. A group of reality show experts set out to reform a hoarder with several condemned homes. Merv Evans has been collecting antique furniture and pottery properties for the last 50 years. He's a stage five hoarder. It's gonna be a bigger job than I thought. Crunch that. We have 48 hours to bring this place up to code. One, two, three, let's get the back! We got a lot of problems here. We got wolves, exposed wires. Yeah. Dead cat. Dead cat. What an invasion of privacy. Because they haven't any a clue what they're looking at or what they're doing. This place is alive. <laughs> we found something. The question is, has Murph Evans ever killed anyone in this house? I think the show is completely fucked. And I think it's really time to call the police. This is how the ultimate reality show turned into a deadly nightmare. There's another horror. There's two. Whoa, wait a minute. I'll just put this fucker right here. Ponte Pool, by any chance you have not seen it, you need to rush out. It is absolutely amazing. Canadian, uh, very clever, very original idea, very well done, very subtle. Um, this, obviously, not subtle. <laughs> and I guess maybe towards the end there, I'll show you after a minute, it looked pretty bloody and gory. Is this horror comedy? <sighs> Good question. I don't know. I do not, do not, I did not see enough comedy in there. Did you? Yeah. No. Like it started, I, it, no, it started off like kind of funny, and then like I kept, I kept that concept like okay, so this is supposed to be like kind of funny, and then it, the bad stuff happening, and then it, it was still seems kind of funny, and then I don't know. I think that they were they were trying to copy the Hoarders TV show, and they did a really good job. And I think you're right; they threw in some sort of lighthearted aspect, and maybe that was to throw you off, kind of like oh, it's light hoarded, light hoarded. Nice. That was awesome. It's lighthearted, and then the killing begins, and I was... What is it? A monster? Or is it like... Well, okay, so they found the dead body, and okay. thankfully they called the cops, because I was going to be really pissed off if they didn't. And then I guess it becomes the question of, is the hoarder a serial killer? Oh, and that cop? Yeah. He didn't look like a, a regular cop. He looked well, like a, just a fat, kind of comedian cop. That's well, what I'm saying. This so is yeah, like alright, well... I tell you what, man, this, this trailer has done its job. It got us talking, it got us interested, so we're going to have to keep our eyes out for this one. Okay, so not zombies. Not zombies. Yeah, good for and Dante, uh, sharks don't travel in groups, I don't think. Well, I, I think mean, you're thinking of a school. Probably I'm thinking of a school, but perhaps young sharks could travel in a group 